the president appoints the prime minister this is for a period of 5 years the president invites the leader of the majority party in the house to form the government the president can appoint a prime minister even if there is no clear majority however the appointed prime minister needs to prove majority support in the house the president can dismiss the prime minister if she or he loses majority support in parliament take a moment to look at the procedure of appointment of a prime minister the prime minister with the council of ministers are responsible for running the nation only members of parliament can be minister they can be chosen from any house if a minister is not a member of a house then she or he must be elected within 6 months of the appointment while there is no limit on number of ministers constitution puts a limit of 15% of strength of parliament ministers can be of three types cabinet ministers ministers of state and deputy ministers cabinet ministers are a few important and senior members holding important portfolios the ministers of state are of second importance in the ministers hierarchy and the deputy ministers are junior ministers and their role is to assist the cabinet minister the president appoints the ministers on the advice of the pm and allocates portfolios however during the tenure the prime minister can reshuffle the portfolios a minister can speak in either of the houses of parliament but can vote only in the house where they have been elected a minister can resign or the president can force a minister to resign on advice of the prime ministers when the prime minister resigns all the ministers in the council are automatically resigned take a moment to reflect on the appointment and tenure of the council of ministers the prime minister is the real executive head of the nation the prime minister is also the ex officio chairman of niti aayog and atomic energy commission as per constitution the prime minister and the council of ministers shall be collectively responsible to the house of the people it follows the rule of collective responsibility which states that ministers fall and stand together if the confidence in the prime minister has been lost the president can dismiss all the ministers